Hello everyone, Pally Time here with TGN.TV. This is a continuation of my Back to the Future uh, Let's Play. Hope you guys are still enjoying this series. Remember, if you are, you can support me very much by hitting that thumbs up button below the video. Alright, so uh, we are in the soup kitchen. We found young Doc Brown. We finally convinced him that being a scientist is okay. You're, you're more than welcome to be a scientist, young Doc Brown. And now, uh... We need to deliver a subpoena to Marty's grandfather before he can quit for the day. And we have to get a very, very strong proof of alcohol. Now, I did try to record this video once already and was interrupted about five minutes through. So I do know how to get the alcohol. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to need some soup. Uh, excuse me. Yeah. Can I have a bowl of soup? We were a soup kitchen. What do you think? What kind of soup is this? It tastes like... Scrolle Ribolita? I was gonna say weak old cabbage. Everyone's a critic. Look, all I got to work with is this two-bit soup in a barrel and spice rack that hadn't been restocked since the Coolidge administration. What do you think I should do to perk this slop up? Let's see. Have you tried... Doesn't matter what we tell him to try, but we're gonna go with uh, paprika. Paprika? Paprika? Uh, I, I just think it could use a little eh, color. Color? Hmm. So he's going to get up, go over to that spice rack, but more importantly, move the stand that has the alcohol on it. Now we're going to take advantage of the knowledge that was bestowed upon us. Eureka! Eureka. Well, it looks like Doc Brown found out something. Let's talk to him. Damn it. Yes? Nice door jam. Oh, that's interesting. Just a little mechanical ingenuity. In the end, the door is open. Yeah, good job. So use the spatula. Congratulations. I'm, I'm, I'm so happy that you put a spatula in the door. That's really helpful. So he's still making the soup. We're going to bang on this pipe, and that's going to cause the elevator, the secret elevator under the soup kitchen to be deployed. <clears throat> now this is as far as I got. After this I have no idea. So we're gonna be learning everything together once again. So remember the ones in the back standing up are actual soup and then the ones that are uh, leaned over ah, Miss Strickland. is illegal booze. Soup? Come now, Mr. Donnelly. You know I wouldn't set one foot in this mockery of all that is good and decent if the poor of Hill Valley weren't so dependent on Mr. Tennant's overblown show of generosity. Was that a yes? Just give me the soup before I gag on the hypocrisy. I'll tell the boss you said hello. I'll just bet you will. And they picked up the barrel of hooch. Now all I have to do is to get it from her somehow. All right. So let's figure out how we can get the booze from her. Remember, we need the alcohol for fuel for the rocket-powered drill to make or to uh, break present dock out of gel. This uh, <laughs> this story is getting quite complicated for uh, just a uh, point-and-click adventure. But uh, let's see if we can find that bitch. There she is. Hey, give it that soap. Hey, uh, Miss Strickland. Oh, hello, Mr. Callahan. I'm afraid I haven't much time. The meeting of the Stay Sober Society is due to begin very soon. Uh, I can deliver the soup. Yeah, I can help you deliver soup. But I don't need a lot of time to charities. Oh, which ones? The, um, Mario Brothers. Ah, yes. The Italians do so many good works. If you'll just fix it so I can pick up the barrels of soup. Now hold your horses, let's not get over eager. I drive the soup cycle in this town, and I'm not about to turn it over to an upstart. But if you're well connected with the local charitable institutions... Yeah? You can let me know when they're running low on soup. Okay. I know a charity that needs a soup delivery. A 
As a matter of fact, I do know a local charity that's running low on soup. Oh? Who? The Stays Over Society, the Orphanage, the Farm for Unwanted Children, the Rest Home, the Asylum. Uh, Stays Over Society, let's try that one. The Stay Sober Society. Yes, we do generally provide refreshments for the Stay Sober Society, but I'm afraid they may not be able to meet tonight. They haven't got a meeting space. Oh, okay. I'm sorry about the... Well, I... Yeah, I found... Very good. Now let's see if you know your multiplication tables. Sorry, I skipped a little bit of dialogue there because I had already seen it. I said, uh... Sorry about Einstein, she said, blah, 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 I hate that dog. And I said, don't worry, I found a way to keep him busy. <sighs> um, I think I'm going to have to use one of my hints. Face it, you may never lay your hands on that bootleg hooch. But there's someone else who can. Can you turn Edna's soup delivery service to your own advantage? So... I guess I have to figure out uh, a place for the Stay Sober Society to meet so that I can snatch the barrel away. And I said she could stay in the park, and that didn't quite work out as well as I had hoped. Uh, let's talk to Emmett, see if he has any ideas. About the subpoena... Why is your rocket flu... Uh, fuel made out of alcohol. This might be a stupid question, but couldn't you have designed your rocket-powered drill to run on fuel that, you know, isn't illegal? Illegal? What does law have to do with science? Science has its own laws. You of all people should know that. About that subpoena. You have to deliver a lot of subpoenas? Father's always sending me out to do these dirty jobs. He wants to expose me to different kinds of people. But all he's exposed me to is a lot of new curse words. This subpoena's for Arthur McFly? Have you seen him? For a few seconds in the soup kitchen, but I think he's gone back into hiding. Brilliant deduction, Einstein. <laughs> hmm. We'll get that subpoena delivered. My name isn't... Harry Callahan! Yeah! <laughs> Alright, so there's the gangster across the street. We can go talk to him, see if he knows where... Our grandfather is so we can deliver the subpoena I'm thinking what I'm gonna have to do is have the um, the meeting for the stay sober society what the hell man sorry boss Oops. get out of here how about you huh I'm sitting at a shoe shine booth you walk up either you're here to shine my shoes or you got a death wish which is it? I definitely have a death wish I'll shine his shoes. What's your racket? Uh, why do you throw out the Stay Sober Society? Can I deliver some of your soup? Uh, I'm looking for Arthur McFly. I'm looking for a guy named Arthur McFly. He's my, uh, sort of a relative. Well, he's my employee. He's very busy today. Do you know where he is? Do you know when I might find him? Uh... Since you're Arthur's boss, you know where he is, right? He's at the, uh, office. Where's the office? I forget. So when do you think Arthur will be leaving the office? When I tell him he can leave the office. Hey, you missed a spot. This guy's a dick. Isn't that Arthur McFly's hat you're holding? It was McFly's hat. Now, it's my peanut bowl. <laughs> <laughs> Could I buy Arthur's hat off you? Could you keep your mind on your work, huh, shoeshine boy? I'm hanging on to my peanut bowl. Okay. Uh, never mind. Uh... Why'd you throw out the Stay Sober Society? How come you won't let the Stay Sober Society hold their meeting in the cellar of your soup kitchen? We got other plans for that cellar, and it don't necessarily involve staying sober. Can I deliver some of your soup? 
Hey, I represent United Charities of Hill Valley. Can you authorize me to pick up soup from your establishment and deliver it to some very deserving souls? Nah, that Strickland dame's got the charity racket pretty much locked up. No point in giving her competition. Jeez, I'm not getting anywhere with this guy. Edna Strickland thinks your soup kitchen might not be on the up and up. That dame gets on my nerves. Got a great pair of gams, though. What's a gam? Why do I even so care about the hat? Thing about that hat? You're testing my patience, boy. Like, why is the hat even important to me? Can I have some peanuts? Why not? I'm a magnanimous kind of guy. Go ahead, knock yourself out. Hey, kid. Yeah. What the hell is that? Hey. <laughs> You do. Oh. Give me that hat, you lousy crook. Damn it. A monkey out of Kid Tannen. <laughs> I have no idea why we just had that scene over a hat. Why is the hat relevant? So confused. Where do you learn how to move like that? Sandlot football. They used to call me the streak. Get out. Why did I? What? This game is so confusing. So. Let's check out the barber shop. I guess we're gonna have to go in all these places. Hey, uh, can I get some moose? What does this look like? A hunting lodge? We're gonna have to go in all these places until I find the guy's shop. The flop house. I'm not so sure I want to stay in a place that welcomes transients. Okay. What's next? Shark. Wow, looks like they used a real shark. Is that Joss? Is that a... No, it's not Joss. That was a stupid question. That was a stupid question. Okay, so I might have to turn back on this current objective shit. Go pop up. Yes, please. Did that work? Did you turn on? Good. Because I am so confused. <laughs> I'm so bad at these games. That's one reason I'm playing them. And not only is it, you know, a cinematic experience and, and you guys get to enjoy a story in a pretty unique way with these kinds of games, but I'm also really bad <laughs> at these puzzle solving things. And I'm trying to, trying to get a little bit better. Bank of Italy? How can I help you, sir? Okay. Without any money, I don't really have any business in there. Okay. So we know if we get some money, we can come back. Very good. Oh, man, I'm fucking confused. Let's go to our hints again. Earlier in the game, Marty used an object to find its owner. Oh, Einstein. Why is my screen black, Einstein? Can you tell me that first? Come here, little buddy. Come here, little buddy, Einstein. Okay, controls are totally fucked. Alright, so let's equip the hat. Give it to Einstein. See if he can track down our grandfather. Hey, honey. Come here for a sec, boy. Hey, boy. Can you find the guy who belongs to this hat? Where's he going? Only one way to find out. Hey, 
Hill Valley Apartments. Huh. Deja vu. So this is the old lady's house. Yeah? Who is it? It's McFly! Shh, I know! <laughs> uh, let's equip our hat and uh, wave it at him, see if he comes over to it. I'll give it back to him after I give him the subpoena. Okay, so I'll give him the subpoena. I... okay. What do you think you're doing? I'm throwing the subpoena. You can't do that. You have to hand it to him. Okay. So, uh, I guess I should just ask him if I can come up. Hey, Arthur. Can you come down a minute? Do I know you? I've got something for you. We are the law. We've got some important information for you. We've got some important information for you, but we can't yell it. It's private. Then put it in a postcard and send it. I'm stuck up here till the boss tells me I can leave. Sorry. Some other time. A wimp. All right. Well, let's see what Emmett has to say about that. Help? Um, never mind. Well, let's try hitting the buzzer again. What now? So, we can't ask him to come down. It's me again. Please come down. Why? We're family. We're the law. I've got something for you. We've got something for you. It's a sub a subscription to the Accountant Weekly. He won't come out if he knows why we're really here. No, right. <laughs> I'm not interested. And besides, the boss won't let me leave the room. Sorry, some other time. Oh, come on. Uh, I'll just tell him we're family next, I guess. What now? Why do you keep opening the window if you don't want us to talk to you? It's me again. Please come down. Why? Uh, we're family. I'm your grand... Uh, mother's great nephew. You mean my second cousin? Yeah. Glad to know you, but I can't leave this building till the boss says so. He's given strict orders. Sorry. Oh, this is irritating. I'm leaving. Let's look at our hints. To get Arthur out, you'll need to go and get something from the town center. All right, well, we're going back to the town center. Man. A little bit of a cutscene. So I probably shouldn't let them see me, maybe. <laughs> Gonna go back to our hands. I'm so bad at this game. Kid Tan is back. You think he's still mad at you? Yeah, I think he still, yeah. He doesn't seem like the type of person to just forget a grudge. I feel like he wants to eat my face. And not in like a sexual kind of way, just in a he wants to fucking chew on my face. <laughs> Let's go over to him and say hi. That seems like the reasonable thing to do. <laughs> Where you at? Well, well, look who's back. They say rats always return to the scene of the sinking ship. Uh, I don't think that's true. Get him, matches. So why are we doing this again? Really? Come down from there, you son of a bitch! Right now! That's an order! I don't think they're in a talkative mood right now. Don't make me angry, Smucko! I don't think they're in a talkative mood. Get down here and face the music! So we can highlight Einstein and that's it. Einstein! Help! Get away from me, you crazy butt. Go, go 
right, dog. We're busy here. Go on, scram. Hey, where'd he go? You let him get away, idiot. What was the point of that? Seriously. I don't understand what any of that accomplished. Uh We'll get that subpoena. Wow. I didn't get anything from here, like seriously. Hey, uh, Miss Strickland. Oh, hello, Mr. Callahan. Give me your fucking oh, alcohol. Ahead. That's what I want. You asked me to tell you if one of the local charities is running low on soup. Does somebody need a visit for my soup cycle? The orphanage, the farm of unwanted children, the rest home, the asylum. The insane asylum. No, too much soup makes them nervous. <sighs> I know a place where the stay sober society can meet. Oh, where? In the park. She'll say no, most of them sleep in the park. So, in the bomb speakeasy. You could meet in the speakeasy, the one that got bombed last Wednesday. Now, wouldn't that be poetic irony? But I'm not sure the building is structurally safe. What about... I know a place where the stay sober society can meet. Oh, where? What about the Brown residence? The Brown residence? You mean Judge Brown's place? Yeah, I happen to be good friends with his son Emmett, and he's told me the judge would love to lend his place out for... You know, good causes like yours. Really? Why, that's the most generous, public-spirited offer I've received in a month of Sundays. Please, tell your friend Emmett we accept. And the offer couldn't have come at a better moment. It's almost time for the meeting to begin. You asked me to tell you if one of the local charities is running low on soup. Does somebody need a visit for my soup cycle? The Stay Sober Society. The Stay Sober Society. That's right. They'll soon be gathering at the Brown Estate, and we haven't provided refreshments. I can't get over the generosity of your friend Emmett volunteering his father's house for our meeting. <laughs> uh, wait there. Harry, what in the name of Thomas Alva Edison do you think you're doing? Don't you get it? You need alcohol to run your drill, right? Those bootleggers at the soup kitchen won't let us get our hands on any of their hooch, but we can get Miss Strickland to pick it up for us and deliver it right to your door. No, out of the question. Why? I can't just let strangers invade my parents' house. What do we know about these people? They're friendly, they're well-behaved, they're sober. <laughs> they're sober. It says so right in the name. Well, okay, but a pop needs his peace and quiet at the end of the day. This meeting is sure to be too noisy for him. He can wear earmuffs. What's wrong with the noise? They'll be quiet. They'll be quiet. You'll be quiet, right? Oh, yes! I play my tambourine very softly. You hear that? Yes, but... But what? But it's still impossible. Uh, but I promised Miss Strickland, but think of the Stay Sober Society. But think of the Stay Sober Society. What'll happen to them? They can all fall off the wagon for all I care. But I promised Miss Strickland. It means so much to her. The answer is still no. Okay, forget the whole thing. We don't have to test your rocket power drill tonight. We don't? No. I'll take the train back to Washington and I'll tell the folks at the office to give the patent to Dr. McCoy. Wait! You will instruct the members of the society to wipe their feet before they come inside. Then you are, Emmett Brown. I thought as much. You have such a righteous face. <laughs> Edna Strickland, I don't know how to thank you for your generosity. Oh, um, uh, pleased to meet you. The feeling is mutual. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Someone got the hots for Doc Brown. I feeling about this. Now you worry too much, Emmett. Now all we gotta do is serve that subpoena, and we're off to build your rocket drill. And get my patent. Yeah, your, uh, patent. 
Alright, well at least we figured out something in this episode. Still have to figure out how to get our grandfather out of that house so I can deliver the subpoena to him. And that's something to do with the gangster over there. Just not sure what yet, so it's going to take a little while to figure that out, I'm sure. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. There's going to be another one tomorrow because I'm recording a lot in one sitting. And uh, it should be fun. So, uh, if you enjoyed this video, I encourage you to hit the thumbs up button below. Uh, as well as leaving me a comment. Tell me what you thought of the episode, tell me if you're still excited about the series, that kind of thing. Uh, also, at the bottom right corner of the video, there is going to be a little link that you can click on to subscribe directly to my channel, where I play all types of games and uh, commentate all of them, and, well, if you liked my commentary, more than likely you'll like the stuff there. So, that's it for me today, and thank you all for watching. <laughs>